Hey everybody, welcome back to another driving vlog. You're going to be seeing some footage of just places I've been driving because I always think that's a little more interesting than looking at my bright and smiling face. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the RTR 2019. For those of you that don't know what it is, I'll tell you a little bit about it. I will tell you what I liked about it and what I didn't like about it. And you're probably going to be seeing this video right at the end of the RTR. Um, I left it early, and as you'll notice when you clicked on this video, I don't do the clickbait drama stuff, and which I could easily do, but I think it's stupid. So anyway, you're going to get the real scoop from my perspective for free, which may just be worth the price of admission. So anyway, let's get to it. What is the RTR 2019? The RTR 2019 is the seventh or eighth iteration of the RTR, which stands for Rubber Tramp Rendezvous. A rubber tramp is someone who is nomadic in their vehicle, unlike a leather tramp, which is someone who is nomadic with their feet. So just a little trivia there for you. Uh, it's a gathering of literally thousands now, people that either live in their vehicles. That could be a van, an RV, a car, um, I guess like a bicycle. Didn't see any of those, but anything like that. They live in it full-time, part-time, maybe they're interested in it, or they just like camping with a bunch of people and having a good time at the RTR. It's uh, not only a large gathering in Quartzsite, Arizona near the beginning of every year, it's also a place where they have seminars. They encourage people to talk with each other, learn from each other, that sort of thing. I'd been pretty excited about going to it for a couple of years now as I get into this nomadic lifestyle more and more. Okay, so we're going to talk about some things that I liked about it. I liked that I got to go to a new place that I have never been before. I always thoroughly enjoy that. So I got to drive through some areas of Nevada, California, and Arizona that I've never been to. I got to see a new town that I've never seen before, which is Quartzsite, Arizona. I got to meet several interesting people. I got to see some really cool different adventure vehicles, is what I would call them, just because everybody's kind of got a different spin on how they do this. And uh, I got to do something on my bucket list, which, which was to go down to the RTR at some point. So I did all those things, and uh, I'm glad I did them. So let's get into some of the things I didn't like about it, which unfortunately was uh, more than I did like. Uh, if you watch other travel-style channels, minimal living nomadic channels, you probably see a lot of rah, rah, rah. RTR was the greatest experience in my life. Uh, I'm not in that boat um, at all. Uh, I won't ever be going back to it, I can't imagine, in the future, unless there was just like uh, some more people that I wanted to meet. And if that's the case, I'd be happy to go down there for a night or two, but that's going to be about it. Uh, the things that I didn't like were, I didn't like the entry and the exit. Whenever I go camping, it's very important for me to feel like I'm in a, a safe place and a safe environment. I didn't feel threatened by any of the people. But I, if there was some sort of catastrophe as far as like flash floods or anything like that, it would be next to impossible for me to get out of there. Um, not only my Prius, but just the fact that there's thousands of people and one or two entry exit points. So that really wasn't my thing. Uh, it doesn't make me relax when I, I'm in that sort of environment. It doesn't really bother a lot of people. But sure enough, after I left, being there for four or five days, we uh, found out that uh, it's it rained pretty hard there, and uh, it was quite a mess, and that's not the first time that's happened. So this isn't to dissuade you from going. If this is your deal um, or you haven't ever been, I would definitely recommend you go and check it out. Um, there's definitely stuff for everybody there to learn and uh, understand. The seminars, I only attended one, actually, and uh, I heard about another one. And it was just like, wow, I could really kind of learn all this stuff on YouTube or from talking to other people. It could be that I've full-timed and part-timed long enough that I didn't really gather much from it. And I always try to get something from any sort of lesson that anybody teaches me. And I just didn't really get a lot. 
So that was another thing that I really wasn't too thrilled about. The Probably the worst part of it, though, the whole bad thing was that the camping was some of the worst camping I have ever been at. I guess camping for a lot of people is more about a social aspect. For me, it's about resetting, getting into nature, that sort of thing, and uh, peace, solitude. And uh, I really didn't get any of that there. It was uh, loud, it was noisy, it was dusty. The area to camp was just rocks and uh, nasty scrub and no water, like flowing water or lakes or anything like that. Of course, I'm in the desert. There were some really cool saguaro cactuses. I got to go on a couple of cool walks, but there was no hiking. So it really wasn't something that appealed to me, but I can see how it would appeal to some other people. So for those folks, uh, thumbs up and you get after it because uh, yeah, I'll leave my spot for you in the Arizona West Desert or the California East Desert. So um, what else? So after the RTR, it was my brother and I that were camping there. We decided to go camp up to some water. So this was definitely the highlight of the trip. And you'll be seeing that in probably the next video. So anywho, um, thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Enjoy your life. Get out. Try new things. And uh, we'll talk to you later.